Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the realm of a topical medication known as zinc oxide. As always, our discussion is for educational purposes. If you have health-related concerns or questions, please consult a medical professional. Zinc oxide is a mineral that has been utilized for various skin-related purposes. The topical form of zinc oxide is primarily used to treat conditions like diaper rash, minor burns, severely chapped skin, and other minor skin irritations. Additionally, zinc oxide rectal suppositories are prescribed to alleviate itching, burning, irritation, and other rectal discomforts caused by conditions such as hemorrhoids or painful bowel movements. There are numerous brands and forms of zinc oxide available in the market, ensuring that there's a suitable option for various needs. While zinc oxide is generally safe, it's essential to be aware of potential side effects. Some individuals might experience signs of an allergic reaction, such as hives, difficulty breathing, or swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. If using the rectal suppositories, it's crucial to stop usage and consult a doctor if you notice rectal bleeding or persistent pain. It's also worth noting that zinc oxide topical is not designed to treat bacterial or fungal infections. If there are signs of infection like redness, warmth, or oozing skin lesions, it's essential to seek medical advice. Before using zinc oxide topical, it's vital to ensure you're not allergic to components like zinc, dimethicon, lanolin, cod liver oil, petroleum jelly, parabens, mineral oil, or wax. This topical treatment is not intended to address bacterial or fungal infections. If you suspect an infection or notice symptoms like redness, warmth, or oozing skin lesions, it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider. Pregnant or breastfeeding individuals should discuss potential risks and benefits with their doctor before using zinc oxide. Like all medications, zinc oxide topical can have side effects. Some individuals might experience allergic reactions, which can manifest as hives, difficulty breathing, or swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. If using the rectal suppositories, there's a potential for rectal bleeding or continued pain. Always consult your doctor for medical advice about side effects and report any new or unusual symptoms. While zinc oxide topical is primarily used on the skin and is unlikely to interact with other drugs you might be taking, it's always a good practice to inform your healthcare provider about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently using. Using zinc oxide topical correctly is crucial for its effectiveness. Always follow the directions provided on the label or as prescribed by your doctor. The medicine should be applied to cover the entire area needing treatment. For conditions like chapped skin, minor burns, or other skin irritations, a thin layer should be applied to the affected area and gently rubbed in. For diaper rash, it's recommended to apply the medicine with each diaper change, especially during bedtime or extended periods between changes. If using the rectal suppositories, ensure you follow the provided instructions carefully. When using zinc oxide topical, it's essential to avoid applying it to deep skin wounds or severe burns. Also, refrain from using other medications on the treated areas unless your doctor advises you to do so. If the product gets into your eyes, rinse thoroughly with water. A common question about zinc oxide topical is regarding its use for infections. It's important to note that zinc oxide topical is not designed to treat bacterial or fungal infections. If you suspect an infection, it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider. That concludes our overview of zinc oxide topical. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us.